or alternative, source, or alternative sources of income rather than relying solely on one source of revenue. This is, of course, uh, the, withstanding the post that, or the threats that have been posed by the whole cost of living entrepreneurs in Nairobi, led by Jane Bayou. The CEO of Amara Real Estate asserted that working Kenyans must initiate entrepreneurial ventures in order to supplement their income. So we have a lot of diaspora clients and uh, luckily for them, the dollar has favored them, the pound and the euro has favored them. So they've been able to invest a lot with us. But even locally, we have been able to get and to tap into the market. So even when there are challenges, I tell people, do not uh, get into that mindset that there are challenges. Because the moment you put in your mind that the challenges are there, the first thing you wake up in the morning, you think about the challenges instead of how you can be able to overcome those challenges. So mine and our team is to focus on what can we do ignoring the challenges that are around us. We have a huge gap in the, in the, real, in the housing market, a huge gap of over 200,000 homes a year. This gap can only be met if people from various sectors come together. We have the government that is championing for affordable homes. We have us as a private developers who are also getting into that. That is the only way we'll be able to bridge that gap of affordable homes because it is, housing is a basic need. Let's put it, it's a basic need. We are, we are told that food, clothing and shelter are the basic needs of a human being.